to the left and, and the way they're driving, uh, they're driving a little into the wind actually. And that one is on the upslope of the bunker, very difficult stance. That ball carried well short of the bunker. Now Sheehan. That's Tammy Green's ball there, as Rossi described, in that right-hand bunker. Kick off that mound. Come on. Good break there. The lie is not very good, but it avoided the bunker. Both leaders showing signs of breaking. We'll be back with more from the United States Women's Open Golf Championship after this message and a word from our ABC station. Callaway has taken the technology from the Big Bertha driver and put it into the Big Bertha irons. Just imagine the Big Bertha driver's perimeter weighting rolled forward to form a deep undercut channel around the biggest consistently thin steel face. You'd have the world's friendliest iron. That's why you should try the new Big Bertha iron by Callaway. Big Bertha irons at fine golf shops. For years, the producers of Coach have brought you great comedy characters. Now the Coach Gang brings a new cast of characters to a smart new comedy. Blue Skies, coming this fall on ABC. Quack. The right club in golf is important. 49ers Country Club has been a favorite since 1964. A past home of the Tucson Open and LPGA. Tree-lined fairways and mountain views surround this 18-hole championship course. Today, 49ers Country Club offers all the amenities in a country club setting. Practice facilities, the improved driving range, complete pro shop, remodeled locker rooms, lap pool, restaurant and lounge, and of course, PGA professionals. 49ers Country Club, 12,000 East, Tanka Verde. Question. Name the 94 automobile of the year. What comes nicely equipped for around 12.5 and is only at your Dodge dealer? Answer, Dodge Neon. Now go have some fun, or all the answers see your nearest Dodge dealer. Question, what car changed everything? What truly remarkable car comes at a price you can afford and only at your Dodge dealer? Answer, Dodge Intrepid. See your Southern Arizona Dodge dealer. Kega 9 News, the team that keeps you in touch. ABC Sports coverage of the 49th United States Women's Open Championship. Brought to you by the 54,000 new employee owners of United Airlines. Come fly our friendly skies. And Pringles, so fresh once you pop, you can't, you can't, you can't stop. There you see Tammy Green's tee shot here at the par 4 16th. Rossi, what are her prospects? The lie is not too bad, Steve, but it's the stance. She's going to have a very difficult time keeping her balance. She has to hit a shot that's going to go 175 yards to get it back to the flag. The ball well below her feet. She's going to have a lot of weight on her toes, and it's really hard to hit this shot. It would be a difficult shot if she had a good stance, but now uh, it's a very iffy shot as to how she's going to play it now. Do you take a shot at the green or do you take a nine iron, play out uh, 50, 60 yards short of the, of the green and take your chances with a pitch and a putt? She has found herself on a severe downslope in the second cut of rough. Patty Sheehan has 168 yards. Tough lie. Downslope in the rough. I have to try and bounce the ball short. In fact, I don't think she can carry it all the way to the green.
stay straight. Stay straight. Feed down. Well, that's a wonderful Feed down. shot there. Down. That is a great shot. That is a memorable shot for Patty Sheehan. Tammy Green in trouble. Sheehan responds. Pat Bradley now here at the home hole, the game's all-time leading money winner. What a tough week it has been. Our caddy broke his leg in a freak accident. Came here as one of the pre-tourney favorites. What a terrific ambassador for all of God, not golf, not just women's golf, Pat Bradley. She's terrific. Helen Alfredson, tee shot at 17. Oh, God, Helen. Come on, what are you thinking? She has wowed us with her athletic skills and entertained us with her on-course commentary. R. Davies for par. This at the last hole. She will be leaving the States this afternoon. She has a seven o'clock flight. She'll be heading back to Europe. Tammy Green from 105 yards. Not a very good lie. when it looked like Patty Sheehan might pick up two shots. Tammy Green has a putt for par. Alfredson now for par. No matter what's been said about Helen Alfredson this week, I'll tell you one thing, there is no quit in her. Played a great back nine. And it would have been easy to fold up your tent and head to the house, too. Debos, her second shot here at 18. <laughs> well done. This very large putting surface, just over 24,000 square feet in total size. This Saturday, it's a special edition of ABC's Wild World of Sports. The world's top athletes are in St. Petersburg, Russia, to go for the gold in one of the biggest international sporting events of the year, the Goodwill Games, Saturday on ABC's Wide World of Sports. From our blimp down to the 16th green with the final twosome of the day, and Tammy Green Rossi will be first to putt. Steve, you would think that this is a must right here. <coughs> she has to believe in her heart of hearts that if she misses, she will make, and it'll be a two-shot swing. That is a great four there. Great four. How tough is Sheehan's putt after the putt for par for Tammy Green? I would think a lot tougher than it was <laughs> before.
This young lady has made pressure putt after pressure putt when she's had to. We recounted what she did at Oakmont just two years ago, birding the 71st and 72nd hole to force the playoff of Judy, Julie Inkster. is one. As the leaders make their way to the 17th hole, Brent Musburger, you have a wonderful guest with us. Well, thank you, Steve. Lisa Lott Neumann with a fine 69 today. Wonderful round. And you know how tough the next two holes are for our leaders. Lisa Lott, what do they face now on 17 and 18? Um, well, 17 is playing, um, it's a little downwind, a little cross downwind, and the green is extremely hard. So, um, um, I would think they just want to play to the front of the green and, and let it roll back there. And then how about the 18th, the finishing hole? Um, 18 is not playing too hard. It's a little downwind. So if you have a good tee shot, you're coming in with a short iron into that green. So a, a good uh, birdie chance. Conventional wisdom says Patty Sheehan's experience, having won the Open before, should hold up one shot lead. How do you feel about it? Well, I played with Patty the first two days and she's playing extremely good. And um, she's a great putter, too, so she'll be tough to All beat. Right. Lee Slott, I thought maybe you were going to eagle the 18th, a wonderful second <laughs> shot there. Yes, it was very close. I, I saw it bounce, and I was praying for a while, but it was close. Great, great championship. Thank you very much. Okay, we go back to Steve, and uh, our leaders have reached the 17th. And a tough hole it is, this long par three, playing 198 yards. To be right now, I would think that Patty would love to just put her ball there and, and walk onto the green. Great shot there. Wonderful golf shot. That'll come down closer to the hole. Leave a fairly flat putt of about 18 to 20 feet. I would have to say that her golf swing is one of the five best in the game of golf, male and female included. And it performed beautifully right here. And now Tammy Green. Miss hit, Rossi? I would think so. Uh, I think that uh, everybody was yelling, get up, as soon as she hit it. I was halfway up the fairway. I, don't, I couldn't tell if she hit it fat or not. The birdie at 16 gives Sheehan a one-stroke lead. Tammy Green a tough up and down here at 17. The most gallant championship finish of 1993, male or female, was that of Lori Merton came from behind with some remarkable shot making at the Crooked Stick course in Indianapolis. Merton made a most improbable birdie on the 16th hole. With everything at stake, Lori hit a glorious shot to the final green.
She finished off her work with a precise putt for a birdie to beat Donna Andrews and Helen Alfredson by one stroke. Wanna taste you can turn back Trying to bring those double stack Double stack, back you pack You got it like that Take the space out of Big Bangs Don't look so big, that's a drag And they got pieces, all those greases Bring those down for whole chips, you bet Two full stacks is what you get Get the Pringles double stack of chips Double, double, honey resist Yeah! Once you pop, you can't stop To truly appreciate Lincoln Mark 8's premium sound system, just crank it up. Lincoln Mark 8, the luxury coupe with a 32 valve, 280 horsepower sound system. Drive everything else first. From sponsoring national championships to maintaining the rules of golf, the USGA and you. Making beautiful music together for almost a hundred years. The USGA, for people who really, really, really love golf. Total purse, $850,000 at the Women's Open, $27,418 for finishing fifth. Nice payday for Tanya Abitval, one of our five competitors under, under par in this championship. And then, of course, the young woman from Peru, Alicia Debos, one under par. And for finishing fourth, of course, she will have $34,847. The two will split fourth and fifth prize money. Then in third place, Lisa Lott Neumann, $47,752. And the battle for second and first. Second is $85,000. And first prize at the Women's Open Championship, $155,000. And we understand that that purse is going to go up considerably next year. Now we go out to the uh, 17th. And the uh, second shot here for Tammy Green. From 80 feet and go from her left to right. Great touch. Tammy Green is 34 years old. And knowing she's probably going to need a birdie at the last hole. The 18th fairway and uh, finishing up here is Donna Andrews. has been a disappointing championship for her, but uh, she still is one of the bright young stars on the LPGA. 38 yards, second shot for Donna. She's had a miserable backside. Speaking of the uh, LPGA, Judy, I know you joined me in thanking Sandy Higgs, who's the manager of broadcast services uh, for the tour. She has provided such an invaluable service for us over the years, coming in here and filling us in on all the competitors and women. And she spent more time watching monitors than our uh, director, Jim Jeanette, here the last uh, few days, and uh, we thank her for the help. Patty Sheehan now. This is for a birdie and uh, a two-stroke advantage. Well, she got a little whiff there of going to the last hole comfortably. Not yet. Now Tammy needs to convert this little par putt.
was very firmly putted. She has not backed away facing a possible bogey back there at 16. She saved par. Patty Sheehan took the lead with the birdie, and now here's Helen Alfredson, her second shot at 18. Well, you know, her, her emotions make her, her emotions break her now and then, but don't forget her emotions are why we like so much to watch her play. For two and a half days, she was something. 13 under par, and here's a look at a hole that's playing very tough today, Judy. Well, you see a dog leg right there, right in the driving area at the top of a hill. It's a par four that does not play very long. You drive the ball across the corner and now you're looking at a middle to a short iron to one of the biggest greens we've ever seen. It's 24,000 square feet, almost the size of three and a half greens. There's a lot of undulation, but the hole placement is not difficult today. It's the center of the green. Average score today, 4.5. down to the tee now and uh, Bob Rossberg. Rossi? I would think Patty might take a three wood here. I, uh, wind is slightly behind coming out of the left, but I wouldn't think you'd want to take a chance to drive it on that down slope. Standing up on the flat would be perfect. She's birdied this 18, two of the three rounds. Tammy Green has parted every day. in the rough. That's a spot you don't want it. A lot of room out here to the left. Big wide fairway to the left. But it's just very tempting to shoot it a little more to the right. That little grin at the tee was a sign of good things to come. Great tee ball. That's in a perfect position. Looking in there at that huge green up ahead is Joe Falls, a writer here in Detroit, said that's bigger than the state of Delaware up there. Tammy Green needs to pick up a stroke. All right, Chief, hope and white. Come on. Look, Daddy loves corn pops, see? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. And here he comes. <laughs> the problem with a cereal that tastes like popcorn, only sweeter, is that it disappears like popcorn, only faster. Y'all finished? Good boy. Uh, he may want seconds. Kellogg's Corn Pops. It's hard to stop when it's pops. Scott and Barb Edwards aren't particularly concerned about how to choose the right mutual funds. That's because they work with a broker from Dean Witter. We measure success one investor at a time. It's new. Introducing Thompson's Water Seal Ultra Waterproofer. It's better. Easy to see coverage. Dries clear. It's best. The best multi-surface waterproofer you can buy. Beats the competition hands down. New Thompson's Ultra. Not just better, best. This is a Goodyear AquaTread with a 60,000 mile warranty, and this is a bucket of water. At highway speeds, Goodyear AquaTread pumps away over a gallon of water every second, thanks to its deep groove aqua channel. Over a gallon a second, that's 396 gallons per mile. Think about it, the next time it's pouring, buckets. The all season AquaTread, only from Goodyear. We say the best tires in the world have Goodyear written all over them. Well, some events certainly are big enough to attract the Goodyear blimp, and here it is today. The Goodyear blimp spirit from nearby Akron, Ohio. 
hovering overhead with this wonderful aerial view here. At 18, Helen Alfredson, this for par. This is the distance that has so troubled her the last day. The tough part about competitive golf, it's a lot like taking an SAT test every day, only everyone gets to see your score. I have great admiration for that smile. Now, down in the fairway, let's go down and find out about our leader, Patty Sheehan, with uh, Bob Rosberg Rossi. Patty has 163 yards to the hole, almost directly downwind. It's all below her feet. It's definitely going to fly. She's going to have to land it on the front edge and let it run. I think she'll just take a nice seven iron, hit it smoothly, carry it about 150 Good yards. Tempo, Patty. Stay with it. that that ball didn't kick more forward. Actually hit pretty soft up there, didn't it? It hit very soft, Rossi. Downwind and out of the rough, you wouldn't have expected it. It could have easily taken one good jump all the way up toward the hole. Tammy Green has 133 yards and the absolute perfect angle. I think that whether she hits it to the left of the flag, straight at it, or to the right of the flag, everything's gonna go down toward that flag. We have a ca great camera view just there, Rossi, and you can see the mounding to the right and the left of the hole. If she can hit it on line at all, it should work toward the hole. Big mounds right here, big mounds right here. Anything coming in that is even close to on line should feed toward the hole. herself a chance. When Betsy King won here in 1989, she won at six under par with a total of 278. Looks as though that will be bested. You know, Rossi, I've got to ask you a question here as they come up. If they wind up in a tie with this great crowd here as wait. Just hold on just a second. Let me hear the arrival at the 18th. back to Rossi and uh, I want to follow up on your comment to Steve Melnick uh, your feeling is that with this uh, great crowd here today that uh, they deserve to see a champion crowned and uh, you don't think the 18 hole playoff tomorrow uh, would be necessary is that right Ross that's the way I feel about it Brent uh, I, I just think that that's what the crowd came out to see that's what all the television viewers want to see it's very tough on the volunteers to have to come back tomorrow I think back to the great finish at the 18th hole at Wingfoot between Fuzzy Zeller and Greg Norman. You know, it, it, Fuzzy waving the white flag of surrender and, and then Norman holding the 40-footer. You know, everything was so great. And they went out the next day, and at the end of two holes, the playoff was practically over. 
Fuzzy won by eight, and uh, it was it was just a nothing thing, nothing day. And, and I, I just don't see. They've played 72 holes. I think that's enough. All right, we shall see what happens here with Patty Sheehan leading by a shot. And what about their situation out there on this green right now, Rossi? Well, Patty has a kind of a tough putt. She's got to come up over that slope and uh, very hard to, to get the right speed aside from the right line. You know, I, I think in the back of her mind that uh, she would love to get down in two. Uh, certainly she's trying to make it, but two putts uh, would put an awful lot of pressure on Tammy. Very tough from this distance to nestle it up to a point where it's good. A healthy two and a half feet past the hole. Well, Tammy knows she at least has a chance to pick up the one here. There can be a complete swing given the uh, situation that we face now on the green. long way from those mini tours where she started Judy Tammy Green had a long road and a very successful road on the mini tours before she arrived on the LPGA tour she has put in I guess we cannot count the hours of practice to get to this point to try to make this very tough putt that moves from the left Rossi at least it's downhill Judy I, I think that are a little easier to make when they're downhill you don't worry too much about getting into the hole left to right uh, might not be the best deal. was never high enough. you might think of as a tap in when you're playing golf you come to the US Open that distance really shrinks Judy is she still away or is she just finishing out Rossi I believe that Patty Sheehan is away I think Tammy Green is finishing it's close for her second U.S. Open Championship in the last three years. <laughs> 72 holes. Everybody finished except one competitor. And it comes down to the last putt.
He's done it again. Patty Sheehan again is the United States Open champion. She might very well be the best golfer of the last decade. She yes. has been spectacular as she hugs her father. In Bobo her last Sheehan. seven opens, she's had two firsts and two seconds. Time caddy and very good friend. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Birdie at 16. That did it for Patty Sheehan. I got news for you. <laughs> now she'll go in and check her score. You had me scared. You had me scared. You should have been scared. I was, boy. <laughs> great turn. She was scared, scared at date. That's great. Oh. So still ahead of us, the ceremony here on the 18th green. Also, we're going to hear from a competitor as the bagpipers come out. A competitor who had everything going her way for a long time and one who probably could have cut and run after the way it ended up. But no, Helen Alfredson is stuck around. We want to have a word with her. And we'll also hear from Tammy Green. And we'll be back with more from this United States Women's Open because we're going to see the trophy run out to the middle of this green. Inside the USGA office being unwrapped. Patty Sheehan will receive it again right after this message and a word from our ABC station. I really didn't want my husband to color his gray hair. But then I discovered this, the hair coloring called Just For Men. And now he looks better than ever. Apply Just For Men and in five minutes, rinse. No wonder eight out of ten wives prefer the natural Just For Men look to gray hair. It's like you took off ten years. With Just For Men hair color. And now, new Just For Men color gel for the hard to color hair of mustaches and beards. Brush in, rinse out, just five minutes. More velocity than speed, more explosive than blown away. See the movie that started it all, the original Lethal Weapon. Sunday, here on ABC, parental discretion advised. The Golf Stop. Quite simply, the best. Stop at the Golf Stop. Get it right now. Stop at the Golf Stop. It's tough finding glasses that fit perfectly. So LensCrafters invented a new measuring system called AccuFit that measures the size of your face. Well, 10. Okay. I remember that. Once okay. you've been measured, finding the right glasses is simple. I like these. Um, okay. The size is clearly marked on the frame, so you'll know that which one is right for you. Here? Only LensCrafters has AccuFit. We're able to get the correct size the first time and satisfy the customer with the best quality glasses. It's a nice fit. That's what we do here. LensCrafters, helping people see better, one hour at a time. All drivers insurance, 629-9000.
NBC Sports coverage of the 49th United States Women's Open Championship continues. Patty Sheehan is this year's champion, a seven under par. Tammy Green winding up second, and Lisa Lot Neumann finishing in third in the scoring trailer. Tammy and Patty again are checking the final figures. Right now, Steve, I tell you, there aren't many athletes like Helen Alfredson who would uh, who would stick around at a moment of great disappointment, but she showed a lot of class the last couple of days. Well, I think class is the operative word, Brent. Helen, this has been a most unusual week for you. It has been uh, a gamut of emotions, if you will, from the exhilaration of two great rounds to the disappointment brought on by a balky putter. When you leave here and look back on your experiences here at Indianwood, what words will you tell yourself? Well, I don't know. It's hard. I don't even have words sometimes for things like this when you don't even have an explanation. All of a sudden, like yesterday, I was playing well. I was 13 under, and for, for no apparent reason, things just change. And, and, I, and I, the only thing I'm happy with myself, I sort of kept my composure. I, I took my time. I kept doing what I've been doing all week. And, but it just, you know, things that gone my way the previous two days didn't go my way this time. And, and um, I guess the only thing you could do is stay patient and keep trying hard. Well, we admired your terrific play. We admire even more the manner in which you conducted yourself and what had to be very trying conditions, more particularly the way you finished out uh, what was a disappointing round today. Oh, horrible. I don't know. I mean, I hit a, I started with a double bogey on three and then from nowhere, I mean, I make a triple bogey on seven, which I cannot explain where that came from. And from then on, I mean, I, I just kept trying. I mean, I kept hitting good shot. I didn't make any putts. And then, you know, I finished bogey again and, and I made one birdie today. And it's, it's hard when you don't get anything back and you keep just trying and trying. But uh, I guess sometimes this game really tests your patience. <laughs> <laughs> well, we stand in admiration to the way you have handled both your successes and your disappointments this week. We know we will be seeing you many, many times in the future. I appreciate that very much. Brent. Thank you, Steve. Helen Alfredson, four years ago, Patty Sheehan let a 10-stroke lead get away from her. She's won two of the last three U.S. Open. Helen Alfredson will be back. I've been a pro for 40 years and winning never gets old. Neither does saving money. So if you're 50 or over like me, just call 1-800-4-CHOICE and you can save 30% at choice hotels like quality, comfort, clarion and sleep. I'd love to be able to cut 30% of my score. <laughs> That's a start. Travelers 50 and over save 30% at quality, comfort, clarion and sleep hotels. Debbie, these shots are fabulous. That's beautiful, Debbie. Better than the last time, Tony? Absolutely. It's my job to make sure people look good. A few weeks ago, while doing test shots with Debbie, I noticed something. Dander. So I told her about head and shoulders. You see, regular shampoos merely rinse flakes away, so they could come back. But look, head and shoulders help stop flakes from even forming. You see the difference? Yeah. Picture perfect. Head and shoulders turns dandruff problems into beautiful hair. Sophisticated engineering has made Lincoln Continental a surprisingly smart luxury sedan. In fact, it even knows a lot about you. It knows how long your legs are. It knows the sound of your voice. Call Tom. Thank you. Why, with its load-leveling suspension, Continental even knows exactly how much you weigh. But don't worry. It also knows how to stay quiet. If there were no organization dedicated to preserving golf and its traditions, there's no telling where the game might be today. Call now and become a supporting member of the USGA. Well, tomorrow here on ABC Sports, it's Baseball Night in America with coverage of every primetime game scheduled in the major leagues. Now check your local listings for the game in your area that's tomorrow night at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, right here on ABC. Patty Sheehan is our champion. 
but it went right down to the last putt. Tammy Green chased her to that title today, Steve Melnick. Brent, we saw not only great golf by our champion, but we saw terrific golf by our runner-up. It's a shame that one of you had to lose this one. Tammy, terrific play. Well, I got real close to my dreams and uh, had a putt on the last hole and was there all day, so uh, I, I feel good about it, but you know, I, I just wish I would have came out on top, but I'm real happy for Patty. She played real well all day, and uh, it was fun out there. You made the terrific par on 16, which kept you close. Tell us about your thoughts as you stood over the putt at the last hole. Well, actually, it was a little bit left to right, and I, I thought all I had to do was get it started because it was real fast going downhill. There was a couple spike marks that I had to maneuver, but I didn't really worry about those. I was just trying to get it started online, and it broke a little bit more than I anticipated and ran it by, gave it a go. How do you assess your play this week? Played steady, played real well the first day, and uh, just hung in there. It was kind of survival today. Uh, the course just played unbelievably hard, and uh, I, I felt real good about the way I got the ball up and down and made the saves I had to and, and played real well. Terrific. Congratulations. I know that maybe sounds hollow, but it was a great second place finish. Well, thank you. Brett. Steve, thank you very much. And our champion is now coming down to the 18th green. Now, that is Wilma Gilliland. She is the chairman of the Women's Committee of the USGA. She's bringing Patty Sheehan out to the middle of the green. That was last year's winner, Lori Merton, embracing Patty. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you the 1994 Women's Open Champion, Patty Sheehan. Congratulations, Patty. We're all so happy for you. Boy, it was pretty hair-raising coming down those last few holes, wasn't it? What happened? Oh, it was no sweat. Uh, <laughs> um, it was really kind of deja vu for 1992, and I was really hoping that it wasn't going to happen to me, um, what I did to Julie. Uh, it was very exciting. Um, I'm, I'm extremely happy right now. It's, it's so much more fun to win on Sunday. <laughs> than it is to go to Monday, but uh, it's just been a great week, and uh, I thank everybody. What's it like winning the Women's Open for the second time? I know it was so special to you the first time after several troublesome years and experiences, but for the second time, what's it like? Um, it's really sweet. Uh, it's, it's amazing, when I had this cup in my living room the first time, um, I kept looking at the names and seeing which ones uh, had repeated, and, uh, and Mickey Wright's name stands out in my mind the most. And um, I'd like to say hi to Mickey. I'm sure she's watching today. Um, she's a great uh, inspiration to me. And uh, I'd also like to just kind of throw in this. Um, 
little thing. I'd, I'd like to just say hi to my um, 1974 class reunion. Um, <laughs> who are having their class reunion this today. And, you miss and I'm wearing the, the school colors, so I'm sure they're all watching at the uh, Wild Waters. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you missed your reunion, Patty. <laughs> but on Friday, when, when Helen Alfredson had such a huge lead, did you ever imagine for a moment that you might be standing here on Sunday with the cup? Well, you know, I, what happened to Helen happened to me in 1990, and I'm sure that, that she was uh, in a lot of pain, and I remember that very vividly, and I, I really felt for her. Um, I knew it Friday that, you know, there was a lot of holes to play, a lot of golf left, and uh, I wasn't giving up. I wasn't giving the, the tournament away. Uh, I never do that, and, uh, and, you know, for good reason. You were very much a favorite today, I think because of your experience and also the fact you had uh, won the Women's Open before, but Tammy Green was a pretty tough competitor there. Tammy played great, and uh, she's from this area. She had a lot of fans out there, too. In fact, I, I almost think she had more fans than I did. Uh, she's from around here, and I know that uh, a lot of her family's here, and, um, and uh, I, I'm just very proud of the way that she played. She hung in there and played extremely well. Well, you showed a great deal of tenacity yourself, Patty She, and we're all happy for you and proud of you. Our 1994 Women's Open champion, for the second time, she's a winner, Patty Sheehan. Dan. Rhonda, thank you very much. Jan is our winner. Her first victory of the season, but she made it a big one, didn't she? Tomorrow, Doug and Ann Porter will watch their only daughter walk down the aisle. The McDades will embark on a retirement journey to Scotland. And the Sweeneys will pack the last in a series off to college. Tomorrow, the dreams of many will be realized, thanks to a simple broker philosophy. We must never rest in our commitment to the individual. For those of us at Dean Witter, like Dave Rieger. Dave, are you still working? We measure success one investor at a time. Last year, winning professionals played ping. Forty-three wins worldwide. And all of those preceded these. We can't wait to see what happens next. If you can't either, see your local golf professional. We're using high-resolution robotic cameras in order to give you a closer look at the fit and finish of our Lincoln cars. To achieve this kind of quality, we not only employ technologically advanced machines, we also employ dedicated people who bring to Lincoln a craftsmanship that can't be duplicated by a mere machine. 